Hey guys, today I'll be changing an alternator on a 1998 Buick LeSabre Limited. First off, we're going to remove the negative battery cable, and it takes a 8mm socket. And we'll sit that off to the side. Now I'm going to remove this plastic cover over the engine. Just unscrew this nozzle. Be careful not to knock dirt into the engine when you take this off. And it hooks in the back there. And then I'll screw the nozzle back in. Now I'm going to take the belt off and to do that I'm going to put a 15 millimeter socket on a breaker bar on the belt tensioner pulley bolt and twist it counterclockwise to put slack in the belt then I can just pull the belt off like this now there are three bolts that hold the alternator on and one of them is behind this belt tensioner pulley so I'm gonna go ahead and just take the pulley off to make it easier you can maybe reach in behind there with the wrench but this is the way I'm gonna do it since that's a left hand thread bolt I'm gonna turn it clockwise to loosen it alright now I'm gonna pull this plastic cap off here just kind of twist it and it'll pop off and then take this 13 millimeter nut off now I can pull this cable off and move it over to the side now there's a 10 millimeter bolt in here that I'll take off that's what it looks like now there's still a wire that's clipped on to the bottom of the alternator down here, but I'm going to wait until I get the bolts out so I can lift it up to where I can see it and get that wire unclipped easier. I'm going to take off this bracket that's holding the alternator on, and it has two 13 millimeter nuts, one here and one down here. That's what that nut looks like. That's what that nut looks like. Both nuts are the same. Now I can pull this bracket off. That's what it looks like. Alright, now there's a 13 millimeter nut here and two 13 millimeter bolts, one here and one that you can just barely see down here that I'm going to take off. There's the bottom bolt. It's the same as the top one over here. There's the top bolt and the bottom bolt alongside it. And here's this third bolt. Now before I pull the alternator all the way out, remember there's this wire back here that needs unclip. Just pull that clip up and push out like that. Now I can pull the alternator out. Now before you put in your new alternator, compare it to the old one and make sure that they're a match. And our new one matches our old one, so we are good. Now I'll sit in the new alternator, plug that wire back in here, and sit it into place. And start putting bolts back in. I like to anti-seize the bolts so that they'll come out nicely next time I gotta change it. I'll get all the bolts started before I go and tighten any up. Now I can go ahead and tighten these down to about 30 foot-pounds.
Now I can put that bracket back on that took those the two 13 millimeter nuts. Now it's time to put this bolt in, and it takes a 10 millimeter socket. Tighten it to about 15 foot pound. Now I can put this cable on, and it has that 13 millimeter nut to hold it on. Now I can put on the belt tensioner pulley. It has that bolt to hold it on. And it's left hand thread. Tighten it to about 30 foot pound. Now it's time to put the belt back on. And here is a wonderful drawing of how the belt goes on. Just take a moment to gaze at that beauty there. Now before I completely put the belt on, I'll make sure that it's in all the grooves where it should be. And then I'll use a 15 millimeter socket and turn it counterclockwise to put some slack in it so I can get it up over the alternator. And there, now I'll do a final check and make sure that the belt's on right. And it looks good. So now the alternator is in and ready to go. I can go ahead and put the plastic cover back over the engine. Note how the back part of this cover hooks under this metal hook here. And finally I can hook up the battery again with that 8 millimeter socket. And it is looking good. Well, everything checks out so we are done. Thank you guys for watching.